depend on any person's offering. I don't follow politicians. I don't run after politicians because I create my own money. And one of the things you must learn, I have gone overseas, my children live there. Nigeria is one of the easiest places to get rich. So, please pay attention. I'm not teaching you theory. Second Kings chapter 4, from verse 1. A certain woman of the wives of the sons of the prophets cried out to Elisha, saying, Your servant, my husband, is dead. And you know that your servant feared the Lord. And the creditor is coming to take my two sons to be his slaves. Somebody say, God forbid. God forbid. Here was a man that was anointed. He was a man that feared the Lord. He was a man that belonged to a big ministry. But he died poor. Hello? Are you with us here? You? You? If you don't want to concentrate, go outside now. I don't like... If you don't want to concentrate, go outside. We're talking about money. We, we all need servants. You can't, you can't force every person to be rich. Some have to be servants. <laughs> Poverty is a democratic right in the kingdom of God. Say the poor will be with you always. But being rich is a deliberate choice. Here was a woman whose husband was anointed, a prophet. Not the ones that call telephone numbers. When you call telephone number, you are not a prophet. You are manifesting the gift of word of knowledge. Here was a man that served in a big ministry. So you can belong to a big ministry and still be poor. I have been in church for years. I've seen pastors who served and died poor. Whose children became frustrated. I've read about John G. Lake, whose wife died of hunger in the Kalahari. John G. Lake was a man of God that was arrested in Spokane for practicing medicine without license. Because he healed, there were 250,000 you know how much you were broke? And the doctors were jealous of Your charges him. on margin loans? And they arrested him for practicing medicine without license because people were being healed. But when he went to the Kalahari to do ministry, his wife died of hunger while he was praying for people. And the children of that wife said, we cannot serve the God that could not feed our mother when our father was working for him. And they became unbelievers. But they trusted their father's anointing. When one of them was sick and he was dying, he said, if my father were to be around, he would have prayed for me. I want to speak to you elders here. Don't die and leave poverty for your children because you carry the Bible. Anchor of hope is not responsible for your problems. I've been to, I've been in churches. I belong to the Church of God Mission. I've seen ushers who will be going around counting people every Sunday. And I go back to the same church. That same man is still living in poverty. Counting people without counting money. I've seen people sing in the choir. We had a choir master that was trekking around the town. Last time I went, it was gray, wretched, because of stupidity. In the full gospel businessmen's fellowship, where I belonged to in those days, you will come and be serving as full gospel businessman secretary, chapter secretary, and you are poor. I've seen pastors who when they died, they went to bury them. They buried them inside bush between plantain. Hey you, madam, pay attention. If naive people are they talk tonight, then go serious. You they clap for that picking. You know how much to train picking overseas? Don't mind me, I'm a troublesome person. I'm not too normal. 
When they talk of money, you they clap for Peking. You know how much the school fees? And you know, poor people, they burn anyhow. They burn Peking seeds. Because poor man likes sex. It's the only entertainment he has. <laughs> and they follow me so. You can belong to Anchor of Hope. Have these fine railings, these fine buildings. It's not your own. You can belong to Redeem. The wealth of Redeem is not your wealth. One day we will reach your village. One day, either by, by marriage or by death, we will reach your village. Don't be shouting, ra 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 ra, roboskata chekiri we sanda ra 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 ra, with poverty. I notice in church is poor people that always fall under anointing and break chairs, chairs that they cannot buy. Poor people don't fall and break only one chair. They must break about three. Because all these okere demons are very violent. They, start with, they will start with one leg, one leg, one leg. One day I was doing Holy Ghost baptism at Agbo. Me that carried the anointing, the thing has not moved me. One poor boy was already... I said, if, you, if you fall, I slap you now. You know fall. You know why they make you laugh? I make enough for pay attention. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Number one, the denomination you belong to is not what will make you rich unless you are stealing church money. Number two, God will not force you to be rich unless you have a desire to be rich. The woman was not the only widow, but the woman was the only one that rejected that spirit of poverty. Every man has a spirit of poverty that is hovering around him or her. Proverbs chapter 6 verse 6. It says, A little sleep, a little slumber, and a little folding of the hands to rest, and your poverty will come like a bandit. So to chase it away. Elisha asked a simple question. What can I do for you? You must define the kind of life you want to live. At Okere, in primary four, I knew I was going to be a medical doctor. When I was cutting firewood along airport road here, swimming in the airport road Damba Damba, swimming in the Vinil, Vinil road Damba Damba, swimming in the golf field Damba Damba at Okere, I knew I was going to be a medical doctor. When I was 23 in medical school, I knew I was not going to practice medicine beyond 40. I knew I wanted to be a businessman. I knew that practicing medicine alone will not make me rich. Go and look for a Siri hospital. Go and look for a Somame hospital. Go and look for most of the hospitals you know. They stagnate at, after a point. So when I saw my professors, I told myself, I did not want to be like them. I want to be rich because I come from a poor background. Number two, you must cultivate an appetite for wealth. I went to school with the children of Ogbobine, Rewane, um, um, Jeffia, Agbou, and all that, Mabiaku. And I was living in a mud house in Okere with chickens under my bed. But I was brilliant. But I made up my mind that I would become rich. Several things happened. I went to a man's house. We were practicing medicine at uh, School Road. I was living in School Road, Slater's house. And I went to one barrister's house in town. 
And the, my classmate introduced me. Meet Dr. Apoki. The man said, We want my mono. Whose son are you? I am Dr. Apoki. That means my father is Apoki. He wanted to know my background in case the daughter falls in love with me. He wanted to know whether I'm qualified to relate with him. Listen, poverty will insult you no matter your anointing. Poverty will disgrace you. Poverty will make you go and explain your life to somebody because you want to borrow 5,000. Then the person will tell you why you not come yesterday. Poverty will make you abuse your church and abuse your family. Particularly in Delta State, we are a kind of people that do not respect anything apart from money. Yesterday I was in a palace, my king's palace. And I sat at the back. They were to give me an award for being a major investor in the community and bringing development. I sat at the back. And there were chiefs sitting in the front. Me, I don't want to become a chief because doctor is enough. They, they read down one. You know, they know to wear white bed sheet. They, they read down or put fan bed, round neck. If he pay you, go write jam, go to University of Ibadan. One of them just came with uh, his white bed sheet with a uh, canopy and fan belt around his neck. He wanted to sit there. I said, go inside. I got up. To, going to go. He said, he wants to sit on my seat. I said, why? He said, he wants to sit there. I said, I came before you. I said, but he wants to. I said, you cannot. He said, why? I said, because I'm Dr. Poki. He said, me go, sir. He know now. Not a fair face. Then the fear face. If to say I no get with my gray hair, that boy for make me get up and I come before him. If you no get money, why don't you be senior for family? The meeting can continue without you. Once the person will get money, don't come. If you no get money. All your ideas are suggestions. Even in the church committee, mama, I won't look at you now. If a poor man commits sin, it's easy, easier to disfellowship him than when a rich man commits sin. Don't look at me like that. Did they enter? Did they choke you? What is the good life? Number one, the knowledge of God. All of us know God. Number two, financial freedom. Financial freedom can be defined also as luxury. Luxury is not the price of cars you own or the clothes you wear. Luxury is that you wake up when you want to wake up. You go to work when you want to go to work. You eat what you want to eat. And you sleep when you want to sleep. Now they follow me so. Landlord, they come. You know they worry people like us again. House rent, you know they worry people like us again. I wake up. And when you have crossed 40, if you are not serious with life, you will regret old age. Because 40 to 50 runs very fast. And 60 to 70, the body not the BRCB before. And if you are 30 years old here, because in Uroboland here in Delta State, you, you people remain children for too long. I opened my first hospital when I was 29. I married at 26. I bought my first car at 27. I built my first house at 32. Don't stay in church and be dancing chaku, 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 chaku with poverty. Dance chaku, make like this. Do you know the meaning of chaku? It's when they were carrying your great great grandfathers for slavery. When they shackled them in front, they shackled them behind. Shackled them in front, shackled them behind. And when they got to America, when they wanted to jump out of the ship, they made like this. So you are making mockery of your great grandfathers. 
financial freedom and then financial independence you don't wait for month end you don't work for delta state government or any state government until you retire then you will wait for five years then you go and queue in a suburb before they pay you your gratuity and somebody will demand for bribe from your money so do you want to be financially free do you want to be financially independent you start it when you are young because if you are 30 years here and you are going to live for 90 to 90 if you sleep eight hours every day eight over 24 times the remaining 60 years you will sleep 20 years away 20 plus 30 is 50 years only 40 years is remaining and if you're a stupid woman here and you watch telemondo you know poor people like television Aki and Papa Inesi Aki, Aki. Poor people like to watch Manchester United and Chelsea. They will pay money. The rich will press their television to record it. When they are free, they will watch it. I've never watched one full match in the past 20 something years. I don't need it. Because I want to be successful so that people can watch me. If you watch Telemundo four hours every day, four over 24 is one over six. Use it to divide the remaining 30 years or whatever. Ten years will go away out of your life. And if you're a young boy playing snooker, you know that you're a very stupid person. You bend and play. Play four hours of your life away. The question you need to answer was what they asked the woman. What do you have of same value in your house? What do you have that somebody can buy from you? What do you have of same value in your house? What do you have of same value in your house? Somebody earning salary is like this bottle. If you live only on salary, you are like this bottle. You are covered. You are cocked. That's why you are graded and leveled. That's why you are called civil servant, civilized slave. The word civil servant is a civilized slave that cannot protest that. It's a civil servant. It's quiet, gentle servant. Did you hear me, sir? A servant has no freedom. A servant is limited by the pay of the master. So you go to university, you become a professor. Even if you are working in the bank and you are not in a tie and counting other people's money and nobody's counting your money, you are a stupid person. If you are working in an oil company, let me talk to those of you working in oil companies. You are living a false life. That company is not your own. The quarters you are living in does not belong to you. The salary you are earning, you cannot work it outside. And if you don't plan for your life, when they retire you, they will lose your tires. It's like an Urobo word, and retire, right? And you will discover because you have not made, managed one single business before, when you retire, you will fail woefully. So if you are earning salary, you are like this bottle. God cannot bless you unless you open this bottle. Are you following me? And when you open this bottle, you serve as usher. You pay tight. I will explain that towards the end. You pay tight. You give offering. If God opens the windows of heaven under anointing, you do everything. And God won't bless you now. When God wants to bless you, he will pour into this place. And when this place is filled to the brim and it is flowing over and there is no place for God to pour into, he will stop because he will not break his word because of your stupidity. Until there is no room enough. So when you start a business, you create room for God to bless you. Does it make sense? So, all this is your prayer. All my money when they carry go covered fire. How much you walk? Wait till they carry go. 
Where they carry Coven go? 40,000 naira a month na money to Coven. They say which no get better today they do. 40, mama, 40,000 times 10 years is 4.8 million. That's if you don't urinate, you don't go to the toilet, you don't take your bath, you don't see your period, you don't marry, you don't look for trouble like me. You <laughs> and they find trouble where well. well. <laughs> I know they normal. <laughs> you don't buy clothes for 10 years. The maximum you can save is 4.8 million. You can't build a house. You can't buy a car. You can't marry. That's why some of you have been in worry. For 20 something years, you still be tenant. There are many mansions there. They wait for the mansion for yonder. I went to preach in the Redeem near Charles David Lord Hotel, near one church there. One man just came out. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. We've been living in the same compound for 25 years. I said, enough is enough. And I prayed. And God gave us another accommodation. We packed into another. Shut up your mouth. And one went. Shut up your mouth. Tenant for 25 years. How much are you going? How long are you going to live? Sense testimony. What have you of say value? The prophet Elisha did not start quaking. Ra, 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 ra. I call miracle money. I call miracle alert. No, that's deception. It's witchcraft. What do you get when person feed the buy? I use myself as an example. Number one, I sell knowledge. I'm going to speak to six, in six cities. I'm going to speak to six cities in this state on cooperatives and rural development. And they're going to pay me. I write books. And they buy books. One of my books was giving me a quarter of a million every month. And so some of you elders and pastors here, you just preach your messages, you throw them away. You can't turn it into a book. You are a retired economics teacher. You taught a, one man came to meet me, say, one pastor insulted him that he was poor. I said, what are you, what do you teach? He said, I teach economics. I told him for 25 years you have been teaching, he said 25 years he has been teaching it. I said, have you written a book? He said, no. I said, if you were a wizard, and you were in the coven, you would have been the head of the coven by now. You couldn't write one book. This generation is a knowledge-driven generation. You design a software like Flutter Wave that has made billions of dollars. Knowledge. I sell knowledge. I sell pekere from my plantain. I sell plantain suckers. Each plantain sucker is 250. There was a month I sold plantain suckers of 2.5 million. I sell coconut candy from my coconut. As you came to, where is Foster? As you came to carry me, what were they coming to buy? Fowl. I read fowl. I read the one for Christmas. September 4th, I carried them. Rain fell. I carried them from the room that was flooded. I carried them upstairs to my, one of my bedrooms. They were there, making quick, 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 quick. I was talking to UPU in America. I was talking to UPU in Robo Progress Union you know, in America. My chickens were making quick, 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 quick. They didn't know. After I sold Christmas on, I bought September, or I bought again after Christmas. And I'm selling them. As I was coming, money was coming to my house. I don't need to speak in tongues. Money was coming to my house. People were coming to buy chicken. Thank God they saw yeah, a few days back, I carried them and did a video when I was ad advertising. I no be, I carried the chicken. I no be dangote, oh, I dey leke, I dey sell fowl, and I dey okay. Fowl money no dey smell. Doctor, when they sell fowl, I know they shave. They know, they know they no book pass me. 
I make A in physics, A in chemistry, A in biology, A in geography, A in economics. When I went to uh, Abraka at 56 to go and do a master's, I scored 10 A's. 56, no person has beaten that record. 10 A's. Your certificate is a sheet of paper, S-H-I-T. It's a sheet of paper if it cannot feed you and take you into your future. Put it aside and find what illiterates are doing and do it better with class. My wife is a nurse midwife. She sells bean spy, egg roll, sells um, pure water, sells. She cooks mama put in our house. 1,000 students buying rice of 50, 15, or 100. You know how much? They carry Thai, they waka. Carry brown envelope, they waka. Some of them say, when I be a musician, they carry guitar, they waka. Who won't listen to you with hunger? What did you study? International relations. Buhari wants to do international relations with your degree. What did you study? Marketing. You don't have any product. Mama, I they sell cucumber. I they carry cucumber come Clarissa here. Come sell. Clarissa. West. One day, I carry cucumber. Go to Igbudu market. Go they sell. As I did there, I they price the cucumber with the woman who won't buy from me. I see one person inside Kekena Pep, they look me. I recognize them. I they see him for Facebook. He would dress very well, not tie, wear coat. He's a bishop, one thing. I they see him for Facebook. I just see a rich man. No, no, he's a keke driver. He can see me, they sell cucumber. Now himself shop. Now he's a bishop, he's a doctor. <laughs> Tell your neighbor, hustle your hustle. <laughs> Am I talking to somebody here? Yeah. I sell, I have a bookshop. I sell. It was the man that came to carry me and I was asking for my books. There, there was a conference I went to. I sold books of 750,000 in three days. But I sell. I'm planting potatoes now. Potatoes, big line, potatoes. I will sell. I sell Gary. I, I bought a hybrid maize, 1,500, big packet, two kilograms. I've been planting and planting, now I have waste pain, but I'm still planting, planting. I will sell corn. What are you selling? Can I have a basket, please, basket, quickly. Plastic basket, sorry, I didn't inform you on time. Pla Don't mind, just bring it, throw the refuse inside away and bring it. What are you selling? Me, I sell. I stay in the best hotels in this country. I get big honorarium. That is good enough. I'm a very popular person. Yesterday, they wanted to introduce me to one professor from America. As they took me to, he said, meet uh, Dr. Apoke. He said, who does not know Dr. Apoke? He knows me from America, from my Facebook post. Popularity will not feed you. Don't live a fake life. If you are only depending on salary, don't worry, sir, I will soon finish. No, no, don't worry, sir. Thank you, sir. If you are only depending on salary, you are like this basket. When they pay you salary, house rent, school fees, pure water, tomatoes, maggi, onions, will just be leaking, leaking. And if you are the idiot that does do re me, do re me, amen, do re me, your life has finished, it finished, completely finished. Mama, do you know do re me? Mama. I don't know. You don't know do re me? Do you know do re me? Do you know do re me? How can you, how can you mentor? How can you mentor these people and you don't? Me, I know Dorime. Dorime, Dorime, Ameno, Ameno. Champagne, blood purifier. You get money. Person when they all lapono, they do Dorime. Civil servant, no, they do Dorime. Blood purifier. Mama, these crazy children, eh? mad children. 
they go to hotels eh, and buy one bottle of drinks, a set of drinks for 250,000. There are tables that are one million and they are prepared to stay in Sansan house for Kiri. Only God will punish you people. Don't look at me like that. So, if you don't have what you are selling, you are the only one spending. Only one spending. That's why ends never meet. Ask your neighbor, what do you they sell? Ask your neighbor. Not only you they buy. Mama, I planted Ugu now. Because my wife buys Ugu 300 naira every day. 300 naira times a month is uh, times 20 days is 6,000. Times a year is 72,000. Times 10 years is 720,000. Don't be stupid. You are not the only one that will be buying things. If you can buy something of 5 naira, sell something of 15 naira. Are you following me? What do you have that you are selling? Any woman, when just they get belly, they get belly. Our mommy has delivered, our sister, sister of Biageli, has delivered a bouncing baby boy like the Hebrew woman. Kra, 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 kra. Monkey, fine. Make money like a Hebrew woman. Don't deliver body, don't become a PLC, private liability concern. Bring money. Bring money. Madam, look for something to sell. Even if it is granite, even if it is corn, look for something to sell. Outside gate man, in there for gate, they sell in domina like. Una too lazy. Now they think say rapture go come tomorrow. You don't go come. Now go pay house rent before you come. Woman like this song, it will be long. We will be going home. Can the weeks as days any day now? We will be going home. Enter front of trailer, just die. Leave us alone. Food go there cheaper. Lazy slots. What have you of sale value, Mama? We sell exercise books in my school. I have a printing press. We produce exercise books. We produce this. When I was poor, when I was running ministry with poverty, that sentence changed my life. I discovered that the more I have to sell, the more money I make. Remember, in one of the verses there, it says, shut the door against yourself. I think it's verse 2 or verse 3. It says, shut the door against yourself. If you want to be rich, no listen to people talk. Then go talk. Particularly worry people. He said, and when you come in, ye shall shut the door behind you and your sons. And then pour into the all, all the those vessels and set aside the full ones. When I started, I was the first bus driver in my school. Doctor when they drive bus. My in-law called me a guy quaker. They called me fake doctor. Me now nah, buy and steal. Ibo man no they hear insult. Where he come meet money team. Now nah, me they drive school bus. Now nah, me be gate man. One day I was standing at the gate. One woman just come meet me when they sell me. Say, come. I go meet her. Say, go call HM for me. Me a waka, go call HM. I come back. Now nah, HM till I say, your mumu go kill you. Now the owner of the school, you send message. Waiting concern me. It take my degree away. It take my uh, money away. I still be. It take my anointing. No, pride and poverty and arrogance and bad temper. They are the four legs of the table of poverty. Do something. If you are entering Lagos, you will see a signboard on the left. Shit, money, not the smell. That man sucks, suck away pit. So, remove your pride. You can hardly see me dressed like this on an ordinary day. Oh, this one are my work clothes. And everything I'm wearing is dash. Listen, in this world, the reason you need to be rich, to him who has more is given. 
Not be so. My king, they do in bed. They can't see cows, cows, cows. Poor man, they do in bed. They now go spend money. In the principle of the world, and even the principle of the kingdom of God, you take water from a bucket and put inside a river. Because the bucket cannot sustain productivity. He said, from him who has, more will be given. Him who has not, the little he has, will be taken away from him. That's why you need to make money. Legitimately. Are you following what I'm saying? So, look, open your eye. What do people need for my environment when I go need to sell? Are they sell sweater? So you young girl here, instead of uh, opening breasts, you are decently dressed here. Instead of opening breasts and uh, wearing bonnets to cover your empty head with attachment, why don't you go and learn how to do sweater? I sell PE uniform. I sell stockings. I sell tie. My son became a millionaire from writing books for nursery schools. And we supply schools books. So what do you get when person they sell? Number two, which skill you get? What do you know how to do? S number two, skill. Somebody say skill. skill. S number two, skill. The difference between Asaba and non nicha is skills and sales. We are not sitting at the same river, nine separators. We are not sitting at the same Bini, all of us from come. That's why you see Iweka Street. Are you following what I'm saying? They are beneath people. The same river, but the other people are crossing to come and buy our land in Asaba. See those tall buildings, our own peke peke buildings. Because your nishaman has skill. Somebody says skill. skill. What do you know how to do when person will pay you for? Ask your neighbor. Go after this meeting, you young girls. Go and acquire a skill. Learn how to sew. We can't meet the demand for uniforms. The women sewing for us. I employed a graduate, studied pharmacology or pharmacognosy or wanting. And I told him I can't pay you. So you need to learn skills in addition to this work I'm giving you now. He went to learn how to sew. When my daughter and my son needed clothes from overseas, we gave him materials and he charged us and he made the fine clothes. And my daughter in law, Ibo Wieram, I put it on Instagram, Facebook, advertised his name. He is our school photographer. He takes pictures. All the ID cards we do in this school is the one that does them. He is now an employee pronoun. Somebody say employee pronoun. You they work, but you get waiting. You they do when they make you know they wait for salary. If I'm a gate man in a hotel, I will put myself on night duty throughout so that I will be washing the cars. Each car 500 naira times 10 cars. How much? 5,000 times 20 days. How much? 100,000 times one month, how much? 1.2 million. Not be so. Times five years, how much? Six million. You can resign. Am I talking to somebody here? Poverty is lack of sense. Let me go back to sales. Somebody bring out your calculator. Bring out your calculator. 250. Times 40 times 20 times 12 times 10. How much is that? Huh? 24 million. So listen carefully. 250. Look for 40 people. That you can sell something to, or do a service for, or use your skill for, to and charge them 250 naira. 40 people. For 20 days in a month, times one year, 
times 10 years, you will have 24 million. Look for 80 people in five years, you will get 24 million. Look for 80 people that will do 500 naira in two and a half years, you will get 24 million. Increase any of the numbers, you will discover that in two years, you can make 24 million. It's not the devil that makes us poor. There are more demons in India than Nigeria. There are more demons in China than Nigeria. We pray. Oh God, can I teach you truth here? Yes. I prayed and I prayed and Jesus answered me. I prayed. Is God that wicked? Prayer is the key. Prayer is the key. Prayer is the master key. Jesus started with prayer and ended with prayer. Prayer is the master key. Where you read them? At the age of 12, Jesus was already a responsible person. Don't you know I should be about my father's business? That's what he started with. It was when he identified a purpose, a direction, a drive, a service, a product that he grew in stature and wisdom and obtained favor from God and man. And then he said, it is finished. It was in prayer. It's good to pray. I pray a lot. But you might not hear me disturbing my neighbor. Skill, learn what? Learn something. Learn something. Why be say we go to bring Yoruba people come work for us for here? Now Yoruba people they come to our house. Now Yoruba people they do POP. Now lie at all. We there here they do resource control where you never control your brain. Very lazy human beings I have as my people here. Lazy. Mama, to do ridges in my, in my farm, I bring people from Benway. Robert Boy will not do if he just does small. We are called Ghana. Oma Bioma. Okyo Mana Oma. Tivo Odie Wobirolo. Wobirolo the monkey tail. Stupid person. I pay my money out to Benway State. The boy has traveled home now with my money. Skill. How many of you know the road that links airport road? I mean, it links the airport road with the water resources. You pass through like this, you go to house of praise. That's road there. You know it. How many of you have seen auto care by the right? It's owned by an Isha man called Peter. He's a mechanic. He services the vehicles of rich men, Rolls Royce, big cars. The day I went there. He was repairing moto. Two mobile police were guarding him. Me when the doctor, a pokey, MBBS, but on your mama one of her boy scout, no follow me. <laughs> Somebody says skill. skill. Learn to do learn work. Madam, it's not too late to go and learn sewing. It's not too late to go and learn baking. It's not too late. Mama, we started um, a program. We do training in churches and uh, towns. My friend will bring money there. We'll go and do, teach them how to repair phones. Teach them how to make small chops. Teach them how to bake cake. Teach them how to make beads. We just do it for two weeks. I'm from Otokutu. We went there and did training in one church there. After three months, the tithe, of the tithe and offering of the church increased 300%. Because there was no unemployed person in the church. That is adult females. Even one girl that was doing slay queen started producing snacks at Abraka and stopped slaying. You go kill yourself through well, slay. Before you go carry spirit, we go slay you. And they use people, they do ritual. You see, they be slay mama. 
skills. If you must be rich, you must have specialized knowledge. Waiting somebody other people don't know make you know him. Waiting other people don't know make you know him. I started this ministry with a power move. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Take it there, take it there, take it there. Bru 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 Hey, we will fast. Interpreter holding the microphone, we fall down. Oh my body, could they pay me? I come again. It's coming. It's coming. It's like as if again is coming. It's coming. It's coming. The same people will fall. Now then go fall again. I can't, I can't ask myself, what it be this? How they do so? Fall? They know they change. If you go to some of these churches in Igbo land when they're very spiritual, before you start. What are you really, really waiting you chop? You go back there, remain the same. I can't ask myself. Not be mumu, I did mumu myself so. And then I read, by wisdom is a house built. By understanding it is established. Through knowledge, his rooms are filled with rare and precious ornaments. And God told me, Change the mentality of the people. Be ye transformed by the renewal of your mind. He said, when breeze blow plantain, if the plantain fall, it still remain plantain. That's why I went into what I'm doing now. That's why I am booked all the year round. Booked far, far. They bought a ticket for me to come to Ghana and May now. I'm not going there because I'm planting my teeth. That's why I charge a lot to come and speak. I went to a specialized area when people don't know. Why is it that people keep listening to me? It is because when you read your Bible, I read, I don't read Bible fast. I can read one, one line and meditate on it for one month. I will do research. And so you I made up my mind when I was in the Church of God mission with our Papa. I said I will learn in such a way that when I say something, Archbishop Benson in the house, I will learn something. Not that it will become his echo. Papa said, Papa said, Papa said. No, Dr. Poki will say. Am I talking to somebody? There's a song you people sing. These are the days of Elijah. Which other person are they calling him? Moses. These are the days of Elijah. Moses. Which other person? Eh? Jehu. David. David. People will don't die, go. You say this time when you die alive now, they are dead. You get sense. So you know it, it is not the days of Elijah. It's my day, man. It's my day. This is the day of Dr. Pokey. And I will make history. I will make something they will write about me. Huh? The day of Elijah at the Christ. The day of Moses. You see Moses before? We are not even adding a general overseer name. <laughs> Dr. Pokey, you are not normal at all. One day, listen up. Now, what do you know when your mate no know? Now, I'm making money enter your pocket. No be juju. They are, we are going to interview all the people who are contesting for governorship under PDP. Online. On Sunday. And I'm the chairman of the interview panel. They know why they pick me. They know. I go speak to doctors, my senior doctors. When they introduced me, Dr. Pokey, 1984 graduate of the University of Ibadan, they know open their Bible. I said, now I will go recognize these people. I said, when Jesus was in the Garden of Gethsemane, he was under so much emotional pressure, and because of the heat 
and the humidity and the passion, there was a massive release of adrenaline, no adrenaline, and cortisol. And because of the dehydration, the endothelium of the capillaries under the sweat gland of Jesus Christ burst open, and Jesus sweated blood. Now I bring money, come out. Who knows the medical terminology for sweating blood? Nobody move. Come, 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 come see swag, man. Me, I just did swag. Swag. Okay, hey boy, it's not to hold here with poverty and be swag. You are a stupid person. What do you carry for you? A bomb you carry. Your mates, they carry money, they hold a uh, bowler, they work like this. The cassava you carry, I've been a yam, they had you to carry. Now, I'm boy, I'm, I've been go put on for a wheelbarrow. Your box are not a day your waste, idiot. We went tie something for waste life. They had us now. You always put your own, your own for love. They were kind of eh? monkey. Mama, don't mind me. I won't come back here. Don't mind me. They can just do it today once and for all. I don't come. I don't come. Skills. Learn something. No waiting your mate, no, no. Antimasa bread was different. There was a taste. Do your ice cream different. Do your soap different. My boy, when they do soap for Calabar, it's, it takes place in motto because in soap they foam past the other man own. He said, pay me 15 million. The man said, no, I go give you this motto. Now it do one for him. In soap, come the foam. I tell him, I say, you show him everything finished. He said, no. I said, no, so they tell the rich. You know, they show them finish. <laughs> Even God the Father not tell God the Son everything. In Nalaya talk. He not tell them the day go come. He to say, tell them the day go come, worry people no go go heaven. Because if they announce, say, God, they come, Jesus, they come on Easter Monday. You go sit elder, go go hold the key. Pay me my money before the rapture. Pay me my money before the rapture. You go see worry boy for a year. I say, make I just kill four people before the rapture. I will just repent for the last minute. So God defends. <laughs> when you have a skill, don't use your church mumu mind to tell every person everything. Keep some so that they keep calling you and calling you. Like this message now, I'm not going to conclude them. As soon as they enjoy them, I'm going to just stop. So that I'm not going to call me again. <laughs> It enter. Say it to say do comedy for be millionaire. Number what you with now? Eh? Number what you? At the go front, the go front, I see the number three. When I will come, when I will come meet me for number five. If not, <laughs> number five. Somebody says savings. Save. Say it again. Save. Say it again. Save. Don't eat your future. Suffer the pain to make the gain. Practice delayed gratification. Practice delayed gratification. Don't eat your seed. If not, you won't have a harvest. Listen. Don't use, when you make money, 300 naira every day is 9,000. Times one year is 108,000. Times 10 years is 1.8 million. 1.08 million. So 600, 600 naira for five years it's one uh, time for it's 1.08 million. 1,200 times uh, two and a half years, 2,400. Save your money. Don't show off. Don't the poor make the rich richer. The poor are stupid consumers. Poor man, eh? He drink past rich man. Poor man, music loud past rich man own. Poor man. When you want to put toothpaste now from beginning to the end. Poor man, then they put stew on top of rice. Poor man, very wasteful. They call me autopay. I don't care. Listen, 
I have only this cuff link. Only this one. I manage my things very well. When you go overseas, if you leave the room, the light will go off. You go down the step, the light will come on. Oibo man does not use leave street lights on. We are very wasteful race. Don't go to a party and be spraying your business money. Dr. Apoki, Dr. Apoki, Dr. Apoki, Dr. Apoki. You will spray per second when you end per month. You are a fool. Am I talking to somebody? Somebody met me. He said, in perfume, eh? Hmm. He showed me the perfume. This one are 20,000. This one are 18,000. He said, a designer. I can't laugh. <laughs> Now turn on to a church house in the state. Me. I wear perfume. And they go preach for Bishop Bakara Church. As I reach petrol station, the girl said, Daddy, this is your perfume now. I say yes. He said, What in the name? I say lapid. <laughs> it's made in Abba. It's lapid. I can't go near. Bishop Bakara, come sit down here. Say, Doctor, hmm, perfume when I'm motion. Okay, 10,000. I say, <laughs> you know how much I buy them? 450. 450. It don't do now. I don't turn to 850. So I'm a big boy. 850. When I buy two different types, if I spray one for you, spray one for you. Pray one for you. Pray one for you. If the two mix for your nose, Momo is not designer. <laughs> now me designer. I fall for shit. My mama bathed me well. 38,000. That's 10 bags of cement. You can carry Brazilian with one on your coconut, coconut head with one and a half credit. And that credit now religious knowledge, you forget them. Brazilian we born. 380,000 or born straight and your life no straight. 380,000. 380,000 is 100 bags of cement. Times 40 blocks per bag. It's 4,000 blocks. That's the cement of a three bedroom bungalow you are carrying on your empty head. And you are a tenant. Who do you want to impress? Church people. They won't even notice you. Nobody, they notice you. Nobody, they notice you. You, they deceive yourself. Am I talking to somebody? Save your money. I save like a slave. Or I save like a slave so that I can live like a king. Today, I have 24 hours electricity. I live in a, an eight bedroom house with 10 toilets. I have seven drivers. I don't use them to pose though. They make money for me. I live on half an acre. Inside the half an acre, I have poultry. I sell egg. I have plantain. I have banana. Save. Don't waste your life. Don't live like a big man when you are a poor man's son. I will say one thing and I'm done. Why did the, okay, why did the oil stop? And the oil finally stopped. Yes, no, no. Eh? No, 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 no. no more vessel. No be so. Yes. No more. Yes. So the anointing was there. No be so. The oil was there. No be so. The children were there. No be so. The problem was there. No be so. But what did come make the oil stop? No more vessels. So who they limit you from being rich yourself? Don't ever call witch near where God is. You are deceiving yourself. All my enemies of progress. I am my greatest enemy. So let's come back to our bottle. If this is my business and the mouth is very narrow, God will find it difficult. I'm telling you, difficult to pour water into this place. It is easier for God to pour water 
Let water be money now. It is easier for God to pour water into this glass than to pour water into that bottle. Agreed? It is easier for God to relate with a harlot called Rahab that is living in the wall of Jericho that has accommodation for the spies and has rope for them to go down. What did, where are you to say the woman for sea rope? Now the rope went into they do night duty. When they climb, they go out. And you get rope for your house. I mean, you won't commit suicide. You get rope. Well, now they follow me so. Until you prepare for a blessing, God hardly brings it. You have to desire it. You have to dream it. You have to dare it for this. And then you have to drive it. You don't just sit down, God bless me. No. God does not bless idiots. God bless me, you will waste it. He wants people who can multiply it. Because he gave to them according to their prayer. He gave to them according to their abilities. How did he measure their abilities? He observed them doing small things. Did they follow? So, if I increase, number one, put your business where God can easily bring customers. Now they follow me. Sir. Don't put your business on a third floor and you expect old women to come. They won't come. If you notice the old churches, they are always strategically located. Anglican, Baptist, Catholic. It's only Pentecostals that are off, off, off. And as you are offing and offing, you are also offing people from your business. My school is off, off. So before people go here of my school, I must say, I must advertise another person behind that Gulf Ray Motors. He to say down along the road like Marvel. He to say down along the road like Heroes of Faith. I forget more students. But that time I never get sales. So you go go like this, come go like this, come they go like this, come they enter Koto Kwenu of the Ubenu, they go like this, come they hear, see which children are naked, they run. Come they see, Amata Jokwo Nigede, Amata Jokwo Nigede. The eyes eat before the mouth. Number two, it was easier for the spies to escape through the wall than living from near the king's palace. Not be so. Make a meeting at this church committee, people. You know, see some of them are wicked, well, well, church elders and all that. You have to say, when I send person go look for a new branch of church. He can't tell you now, see, now, shall we have them sleep? What do you go do? <laughs> go dismiss her. <laughs> what do you go find for showers? When you didn't see any, you did it's a shower house. And uh, Dickie Charles, I've been suspecting you. The way you look at the girls in the choir, I've been suspecting you. God, his ways are not our ways. He knows that the children of Israel had seen Anakites and they were discouraged. If they go near the king's palace and they see the soldiers, they might tell the soldiers what they came to do. So your customer is such that you make life easy for him to reach you. Una, they follow me, sir? Eh? Okay. Why would I say AJ? What in that place they sell chicken along there? Now, AJ? Eh? AJ. It is if you do okay, they go make money. If they do okay, they go make money. I grew up okay. If a okay woman with your husband go AJ, they go price chicken. How much? Say 7,000. The husband say, bring one, bring the, the, husband, the wife will say, shh. That one reached to cook soup for one week. Old. But now, shell people now they pass there, no be so. NNPC people they call the back there, no be so. People, when they stay estate, whether they pass, they know be so. Now, big boys, they bam bam with the big boys. They don't run kitty kitty, they run kata kata. They follow me, so. <laughs> you must have street sense. 
to get money from the streets. Am I talking to somebody? So, number two, I got for Ray Motors. I got for Ray Day PTI before. Not be so. Uh, what in be in name? Bobizwa. Congo open for um, opposite water resources. Not be so. Now I got for Ray Congo Deco Road. Not be so. You can't block them. Eh? So that all the, I, wrote, I write one book, you don't lie, money is an idiot. All the idiotic money when they come from worry, when uh, Bobby's were the color B before. Are you following what I'm saying? I go for it, come block them. Did they follow? Not only what alliance did they go before. They can't open for Rumo Koro. They can't open for Uniport, Choba. Not be so. They open for Jibo. They open for. Maza Maza, he open for Ajegule Mile 2. Open, open. So the money them, when they make, they have many when the money they come increase. Yamaha, they make keyboard. Yamaha, they make motorcycle. Yamaha, they make an outboard engine. So if a German no ride motorcycle, he go buy outboard engine. The more customers you are able to satisfy, the more your income. Now they follow me so they enter. So don't die in one business, but improve yourself before you expand. No man likes a lamp and hide it under a bushel, a bushel. No man should start a business and hide it in an ikoro. Now, what you do when you open a go for a started selling bread, no be so you don't open another one. I got for it, started doing personal service. He opened another one. No be so. I got for it, they sell supermarket. No be so. I got for it, can't go or uh, would they buy food from people before for it? Uh, can't go buy your own petrol station. Can't they do your own restaurant? No be so. So you go chop food, you go send parcel, you go buy for supermarket, you go buy a recharge card, then you go enter motor. So I got for it, can't they reach? Did they follow? Church people. Don't criticize rich people. Instead, study them. Know the principles. I get school for Ogeli. And they build new one for Kokoko. That one fine as the Ogeli. <laughs> I know to teach poor man Pekin is more difficult. Poor man Pekin, they stay one place. What are you going to sit down? You know why? Your mothers drink Ogogoro and Ogogoro crosses the placental barrier. So they begin the shark for Belen. It's called fetal alcohol syndrome. When are they practice medicine for warrior hospital here? You got the pediatric ward. The children, they don't start. Your cock cock on. The school fees go different now. The same, it's even easier to teach those gentle larger butter. You don't flog them. Oh. Sit down. Yes, auntie. Those other ones for the... They build that one. And they build another one. That one, nah, vocational school. But not be the one where they carry exercise. When a, when a bishop, they try. Me, I know if you do it, they do me. I know if you train people free. Me and not, not me burn them. <laughs> and me be here. Let me burn you. Train them things. They're not going to even come to this church. They're not going to send anything from me. No burn. You pay. Then for there, I go get holiday resorts. Get football field. Get donkey. Get horse when people go ride. Get fish pond. The fish pond. Not be me go to feed them. Go get gates to enter. You go buy feed. You go now. You go to wait for the fish. The fish go to chop. You go to help me feed my fish. You know, sir. Tell your neighbor, shine your eye. Tell your neighbor, mumu time don't pass. God bless you. I'm your friend, Doctor Charles Apoki. I not tell you now, sir. I not go conclude them.